Alright, what's up everybody? It's your boy Akeem. Welcome to this vlog. Here to give you a scout report on Steven Anthony, the linebacker coming out of Clemson. And what a great set of linebackers that they had over the course of the couple of seasons for the Clemson Tigers, orchestrating one of the best defenses in the country. Now let's talk a little bit about Anthony, actually hailing from Polkston, North Carolina, decided to stay close and become a Clemson Tiger, pretty close from home. Now, there are some great things I, like, I do like about this kid, but he had a pretty good college football career and I thought that this linebacker core was a good linebacker core for the um, Clemson Tigers. Now entering on um, Clemson I, th I thought I had I thought that he and along with Tony Stewart two of the top prospects of the country coming out of high school in 2010 um, 2010 slash 2011 I thought these two were going to dominate well at Clemson but Anthony actually outshined Tony Stewart even though Tony Stewart was the better prospect for the Clemson Tigers and along with Vic Beasley, Vic Beasley Beasley is an easily first round pick for this year's NFL draft. Let's talk about um, Anthony throughout his career. He posted great um, great numbers and improved each year um, in college football. Dwindled a little bit as a senior though. Now for a freshman he had 32 tackles, a couple of forced fumbles, and a couple of um, takeaways and fumble recoveries. And in the sophomore season, actually had a better year, 77 total tackles as a junior in 2013. That's when he kind of broke out and caught more of my attention and I saw so much potential in him where he posted over 100 tackles. Now, this season, he did dwindle a lot in tackles, only 74 tackles, but I still think he's a great prospect. Now, let's talk about his strengths and weaknesses. First, his strengths. Now, he has the desire built for the position at six foot three, 200, 243 pounds. That is exactly what I'm looking for for a linebacker position, either inside or out. I think he's more of an inside linebacker, but who can play outside linebacker and be used, used in blitzing schemes, uh, blitzing schemes if called upon, that is a good use to um, tell about him. Now, he flashes good ball skills and will play through pass catchers. And I think he does he has a good matchup against tight ends. He's decent against tight ends and coverage um, for against, uh, against the pass. Now, he does have the speed to chase the ball down. He runs a 4 5 3 Five six forty, which is a good speed that you want. He also has decent strength, twenty three reps at two hundred and twenty five uh, pounds, and a vertical leap of thirty seven inches. Those are pretty good numbers for this linebacker, and I think he could become a decent prospect at the next level. Now he does have a couple of skills that he needs to improve on. Now his takeaway skills, uh, take take on skills, meaning um, his take on skills against the uh, opposing blockers. Sometimes he has a hard time shutting off blockers, and that's why his number dwindled a little bit this past season. He needs to do a better job in treading off these blockers and using his arm extension a little bit better just to get the blockers off of him and create space. He needs to do a better job with that. Now, also, he needs to do a better job in zone coverage. He kind of is sl sluggish sometimes in zone coverage, and he could be mismatched sometimes against running backs down the field in the passing game. Now, he is a good um, position. He does put himself against good position against the tight ends, but against speedy running backs, he needs to do a better job with that. And I think those are a couple of things that he does need to improve. I think he has great instincts to be a good linebacker. And also, one thing, he's not as explosive as you want, like Vic Beasley. That is another thing that that's why he's a little bit under the radar. A lot of people are not talking about Stephen Anthony. But if you look at the numbers and his speed at, uh, at, at 4, 5, 6, I think these are pretty good numbers. And I think that people are, need to not overlook him. I still think he's a good athlete. He's just not as explosive as, Vic, as compared to Vic Beasley. That's why he's he's not jumping on a lot of people's radar. Now, my projection for him this season, I actually have him as a late third round pick, early fourth round pick because of the explosiveness. He is still under the radar, but I think he's a reliable linebacker that you want on your team. And I think he could go as early as the early third round. I don't see him as a second round pick, but I still think he will be a great selection in the third round or at the latest early fourth round of this year's draft. Now, next time I'm going to catch you guys will be in just a couple of minutes. I'm going to give you a couple more scout reports for today. Thank you for watching this vlog. I'm your man, Keen McCall. Be easy.